Well, like a mini convoy, tree trimming trucks rolled into Tulsa late today. With all the trees down around town, it's easy to see why. Workers tell us it was their busiest day in six years. Two News reporter Liz Bryant is covering one of the most in-demand jobs in town tonight. Liz? Hey, good evening, Karen. Well, this homeowner here in Midtown Tulsa is definitely in need of a tree removal service. Let me show you the gigantic roots behind me. And if we follow the bark up to her house, unfortunately, you can see this tree crashed right into her house. But you might have to wait a few days as tree removal companies are taking so many calls. They haven't seen this traffic since 2007's ice storm. Of something big, at least a big profit for the next few days for Joe Kelly. Joe's climbing up to cut down trees all across Tulsa. This is his seventh stop today with Kelly Tree Removal. My wife even uh, noted this morning how close the tree came to our bedroom window. Ten times the amount of calls we normally get, we got today. I mean, the phone might ring three times a day. Today, I mean, it probably rang 30 times. I stopped answering at about 10. He stopped answering calls, one, because there's not enough manpower, and two, because he doesn't have enough equipment. See, Joe's only using two chainsaws. These saws are new this morning. I had to buy them today because I didn't have any saws. Because as, as of yesterday, they'd all been stolen. It's a risky business that requires engineering and angles. Joe says first cut everything down that's not holding up weight. But like if this one were leaning up against the house, like that looks like it's sitting on the house, that might be holding this whole deal up. And if I were to cut right there, this whole tree could come falling down and do more damage. And do more damage to even the operator. Today's error led Joe straight to the doctor with this cast from a torn tendon and nine stitches. But for Joe, it's still a good day as his service is in high demand. All right, first day service, so no complaints here. We're very pleased. These guys have done a great job. And right. And right now, Joe's advice to you, if you hire a tree removal company, make sure they carry general liability insurance. Also, you don't have to pay them until the job's done. Tonight in Midtown Tulsa, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you. Now, if you live in Tulsa and have downed tree limbs, the city will pick them up for free starting next week. Curbside debris removal runs from 8 in the morning until 5 p.m. starting Monday. You do need to cut tree debris into four foot sections or smaller, and crews will only make one sweep through Tulsa, and then the regular green waste collection schedule will resume. A traffic alert.